Dad. Oh, it's so nice to hear from you. I was hoping you'd call. Happy birthday, Sparky. Glad you like your new phone. I thought you could do with one that had a camera built in, so I had one sent. You still look so beautiful, especially in HD. Oh. <laughs> How was your birthday? What else did you get? Jim bought me a car. What? Wow. Really, it's so cool. It has built-in crash detectors and all oh, you should hear the sound system. It's amazing. <laughs> wow, he's really minted then, huh? He's so sweet to me. I really think you'd like him. He's bright and considerate. Oh, I think maybe you're in love, huh? Yeah, just, just thinking about him makes me tingle. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Sparky. Glad to see some of that sparkle in your eye, though. I do wish it was someone else. Oh, Grandad, you'll see when you meet him. He, he's exactly what you'd normally like. He's bright, he's funny, he's smart. He, he's a philosopher like you. He just came to different conclusions about the world. Mm. Let's not talk about that, though. Uh, tell me about your work. What experiments are you doing? I shouldn't really talk about it, you know, top secret stuff. I even have to encrypt my own memories. Really? Why? Well, if someone broke into our server warehouses, they could just run off with the hard drives and read my memories directly otherwise. No, I know. I mean, why is it so secret? I mean, you normally rant about the importance of, being, of it being um, open and, and peer review and sharing knowledge. Yeah, well, this is just politics, you know? Funders require secrecy to protect their investment, and there are bad people out there. Fundamentalists who might not like what we're trying to do. Why? What are you trying to do? Well, broadly, robotic stuff. Find better ways for us uploads to escape the Vertopolis, to come out into the real world, to boldly go. So, like those virtual presence machines, you know, those uh, vert bots? Yeah, something like that, only more sophisticated than those camera screen and caterpillar track things. Sounds exciting. So, how's progress? Why aren't you poring over some simulation reports right now? I wanted to see you on your birthday. Plus, I suppose we are waiting for uh, real world results for the 3D printers and the assembly workers to do their thing. Interacting with the real world, the outside world, is so time consuming. Dealing with the real world is difficult for you uploads, eh? For now, yeah, for now. We still have to pay people to do most of the work. It's so time consuming and expensive. The living need the jobs more than the dead, Grandad. Oh, come on. You sound like that monk monster. Who? That bastard Ian Monk. You know him. He leads the Living Independence Party with all that fear mongering, upload inferiority separatist crap. Oh, him. Yeah. Jim thinks he'll be a great leader someday. But he does have a point, though. Why should the living give the dead the jobs? Why should the living support the dead? Oh Sparky, you know better than that. The uploads contribute to your society. Better technology improves all our lives. We fight for the living. Unlike that monk monster, we treat every sapient system equally. It's written into our laws, into our operating system. Plus, one day you'll be an upload too. No, Grandad, I don't want that. Jim says it's like being trapped away from the real world forever. I'm not backed up. I don't want to be backed up. But we are in the real world. Our cameras point into the same world as your eyes do. Our mechanical senses are just as real as your biological senses. Only smaller, more efficient, more power and, and less tiredness. Yes, yes, I've read all the marketing blurb. But they never seem to mention the complete lack of soul, do they? The lack of meaning. My existence has meaning. My work has meaning. I know, Grandad, but I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the other uploads, the ones from all the news sites, the um, orgasmatrons and the ever winbots. <sighs> the news sites aren't a good source of information in general, Sparky. More a source of irrational hatred and bile. But anyway, it's your birthday. What did your dad get for you? Oh yes, you'll like this. He took me to the uh, the new art intelligence show. Cool. I remember the last time we all went to one of those. All those dancing AI bots and that still the most sophisticated AI bot I've ever heard. How is Lucy the Learn Bot these days? They say she knows all the facts in the northern hemisphere. She got every single one of the questions she was asked right. But how was her conversation? You know, her personality. Was she still funny? Well, it wasn't really like that. Um, the show's too popular, I guess. No one really got to talk to her for too long. Ah, uh, 
as I feared. Too much effort on the fact gathering, not enough on understanding. She's still no smarter than Google. No, really, she cracked jokes. She was funny and insightful. Well, reciting jokes at least, is that the same? Uh, uh, is that so different to you? Eve, we've had machines that correlate facts since the turn of the century. Understanding isn't about cross-linking similar topics. It's not about looking things up on a table. Understanding is about building a model of the entire universe inside your brain and using that to predict the future. This is what the art in people don't get, I think. This is probably why the only sapiens we know of are naturals or, or uploads copied from naturals. She's machine, you're a machine. What's the difference? Oh, such a difference. We can mirror sapiens in the machines, but I am not a machine. I just run on a machine. Just like you're not a brain, you just run on a brain. And our best minds still don't understand how either one works. The only things even close to sapiens so far are so complicated they still defy our best understanding. People, uploaded people, animals maybe. The pure machines still aren't even close. I wish the Lucy Project all the best will in the world, but amassing facts isn't how you achieve sapiens. Lucy isn't as sapient as a two-year-old. She has more memory and processing power than you do. And her program is as complicated as a tree frog, even with her own modifications. Sometimes things you say are beyond me, Grandad. You both live in metal boxes in air-conditioned rooms. What's the difference? You can't tell the difference? Well, yeah, of course I can. You make sense. You're the one I remember. You have this warmth. Oh, I can't explain it. Nor can the very best of us so far, little spark. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, the girls are here. I've got to go. We're going to drink gin tonight. What are you up to? I'm having dinner with this girl I met in a bar last week. Talk about having warmth. She's so bright, it stuns me. Sounds good. Maybe you're falling in love too. Well, she's good fun. My simoxytocin levels are on the up just talking to her. Have fun, Grandad. Talk to you later. Love you, Eve.